Namaste. My name is Kirti and on behalf of Himalayan Yoga Association, I welcome you all to this online teacher training course. I am a teacher here at Himalayan Yoga Association and I will be taking you through the concepts and details of the human body and yoga all together. Let's hope you enjoy this course. Let's start. Namaste and welcome back to the online yoga teacher training course. In today's video, we are going to understand things about the very special and the very simple meditation called as OM or A U M A meditation. But before we go ahead and do that, we are going to chant the Gayatri Mantra like how we always do before the beginning of every session. So simply sit straight, whether you're sitting on a chair or on the mat, sit with your spine completely erect, activate a mudra with your hands and rest them on your knees. And in the end, close your eyes to bring your complete awareness and attention to your breath so that you can eliminate all of your thought and increase your attention span in a matter of a few moments. Simply observe the inhalations and exhalations and breathe calmly. Now slowly bring your hands in front of your chest in Namaskara Siddhi and touch the heart center with the back of your thumbs. Keep your eyes closed. Now if you know the mantra, you can chant it with me. Otherwise, you can always repeat it afterwards. So simply breathe in. Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha Tat Savetur Varenyam Bhargo Deva Sadhi Mahi Dio Yona Prachodayat Having absorbed the effect and vibration of the mantra, let's generate some energy between our palms by rubbing our hands against each other. Once again, once you feel the energy, you can transfer this energy to your eyes, cover them with your palms, massage your face, the back of your neck and anywhere else you wish to transfer this energy to. Once again, before you expose your eyes to light again, fold your palms, bow down to the universal truth with a few blinks, come back and welcome back. So, if you are into meditation, if you have heard things about meditation, then you definitely must have heard about the OM meditation or the A, U, M type of meditation. What is this OM meditation? Om is not just a syllable, it is not just a sound, at least not in the Hindu culture, in the yogic tradition. It is a symbol for Ishwar, which is God. It is said that the entire universe creates this sound and the, in fact the entire universe was created from the vibration of the sound Om. Any sound that comes, any sound that you hear, anything that you can hear, will have the sound of Om as the root of the entire sound in itself. If you pay attention to this word Om, which is made up of three syllables, A, U, Ma, and not A, U, M, A, U, Ma, so much heed has been paid to these three syllables, specifically as the creation, because these are the sounds which do not need the involvement of the tongue. You do not need to move the tongue or you do not need to actually disturb the placement of the tongue at all to make these three syllables, to make the sound of these three syllables. And that is why Om has been considered the beginning or the root of all the sounds. 
it has been uh, signified it has been glorified as well as the uh, symbolism of hinduism symbolism of creation in the hindu culture and at the same time in ancient yogic traditions everything in fact in today as well if you pay attention to the mantras that we chant they start with om and they end with om as well the tradition which has been carried on for thousands of years has paid so much respect so much credit to this single word that they without really having the uh, advanced technology that is present in the modern times they were able to figure out that this sound even simple chanting of this sound can have multiple benefits on the mind and the body itself now if you go by scientific methods then everything every sound is a vibration itself all of the vibrations that happen they come from the word om or a um if you break it down physically inside the body any time you're chanting then you'll realize that all of these three syllables a u and m they have a different vibration in different parts of the body for instance any time you're chanting a uh, continuously and loudly for a lengthened amount of time you'll start feeling vibration in the lower part of the body that means below the waist any time you're chanting u which means the u symbol uh, in the om meditation then you start feeling vibration in the torso region that means above the waist and below the neck any time you chant ma then you start feeling vibration in the top part of your body that means everything above the neck your face your eyes your brain it's all getting a gentle vibration so a u m being chanted simultaneously and continuously in this specific order creates vibration from the lower part which finishes up on the top of your head specifically the crown chakra in itself this is all science now what are the benefits of om chanting if you go by biological means if you are just in a habit of chanting om by constantly chanting om again and again for a lengthened amount of time you will feel that there is a lot of vibration happening throughout the body and vibration like i told you everything in this body works on the principle of movement not just in the body everything in this world works on the principle of movement if there is no movement then that unanimated object will be considered dead one way or the other but luckily this physical body utilizes this vibration to stimulate the various chakras which are placed along the line of the spine these chakras while you're chanting aum or auma are stimulating the chakras starting from the root chakra at the base the muladhara and finishing up at the top of the head at the crown chakra in itself while you're chanting this again and again this constant stimulation is going to spiritually help you um awaken the kundalini it is going to help you go further and deeper in your own yogic journey if you develop a habit of doing aum or om meditations again and again in the meantime what you will also observe anatomically is that it helps you improve the digestive function of the body realize this generally we are breathing from the lungs but idly the yogic breath involves not just breathing from the lungs the full yogic breath involves breathing from the stomach from the clavicular area from the thoracic area and then from the clavicular area that means the shoulders are also supposed to be raised a bit in an ideal world if you're trying om meditations then you should be utilizing and you would be utilizing all of these three instruments of breathing in one single breath which creates voluntary contractions of the stomach in the meantime while you're having food digested inside the body itself if you're chanting om continuously and if you're trying to lengthen the amount of time you spend on every chant you'll feel that on a subconscious level but the stomach is experiencing contractions while you're trying to lengthen the time you spend on every chant which aids digestion in itself and this is not just uh, this is just a physical aspect of it because of this constant movement the blood circulation inside the body improves as well 
apart from the vibration and apart from this physical contraction and expansion of the lungs the stomach uh, the digestive system as well as the clavicular area you will feel that there is a constant uh, boosted circulation of blood which is running upwards in the body simultaneously so these are the benefits of the um, physical benefits of om chanting which means aiding the digestive system as well as the circulatory system or the function of the heart because it physically helps in running uh, or we can say uh, circulating the body with a lot of blood without really having the heart to work very hard at the main time finishing up the chanting or finishing up any chanting with the ma sound it is said that the ma sound should be lengthened for a long amount of time that's because it creates a vibration in the brain area in the head area specifically if you are in the habit of chant of doing the brahmari pranayam then you must be aware of the benefits how brahmari pranayam which works on the principles of uh, the buzzing b sound being constantly created inside the head this vibration of the head sends a lot of blood upwards sends a lot of blood to the senses of the face the organs of the face the eyes the ears the nose the brain the tongue the throat everything gets a very uh, optimum supply of blood or optimum circulation of blood which does not happen in our everyday regular life if you are not practicing any sort of yogic activities at all considering the effect of gravity is always going to pull the blood away from the top and push it downwards towards the lower part of the body and if you are constantly doing brahmari pranayam it's immediately going to send a lot of blood to the head in the meantime this circulation of blood obviously is going to improve the function of the organs that's the anatomical reason and the other thing is that if you have ever performed brahmari pranayam then you will feel that you are instantly relaxed inst- your mood is refreshed if you are suffering from anxiety it immediately goes away by the time you stop doing one round or two rounds of brahmari pranayam so chanting of om leaves a similar effect just because of the m syllable or the ma syllable of the chanting itself there are many other benefits to chanting om it improves concentration it improves um you know sleep people who are insomniac they obviously are getting a lot of benefits from meditation and it obviously i realize that all of these things they are a uh, benefit of general meditation as well but specifically om meditation has all of these anatomical physical reasons because of which it should be practiced by everyone simultaneously another important thing for you as a teacher is that many times people realize that they um, are not able to meditate like i told you in the previous few sessions that for a generic person or for a complete beginner meditation is a very difficult thing because the mind is has been processed to create thoughts it has been designed it has been we have given it the habit and the liberty of creating so many thoughts again and again with this meditation the mind is constantly focused on the vibration and the sounds that oh meditation is producing in itself even though initially by the time you start doing this meditation you may feel that there are thoughts coming up in your head but by the time this whole thing is continued for a few times maybe 5 7 10 times you've chanted om you'll start realizing that the thoughts have gone away immediately the thoughts they are not as frequent as they were when you were not meditating or not chanting and in the meantime this whole thing becomes the focus of the meditation itself undivided focus which is effortlessly created created any time you're doing om meditations so these are so many there are of course so many other benefits to om meditation but these are just a few things which are very easy to understand very easy to observe on an immediate level as well if you try this meditation at home by yourself then you would be able to feel all of these benefits on an instant level now there are various ways through which you can do this om meditation there are especially it's more it's very beneficial if you're doing it in a closed room with a a group of people but at the same time you have the liberty of choosing or you have the liberty of working with this om chanting in itself the first thing that you need to realize is that there are two types of meditation i'm not talking about med- om meditation there are generally two types of meditation 
One is the active type of meditation and the other one is the passive type of meditation. The active type is of meditation is the type of meditation that we do by sitting still, taking time out from a busy schedule and trying to meditate whether or not we are able to meditate. Eventually, by doing it again and again, of course, we redesign the mind into being able to meditate. But this is something which is uh, ideal for a beginner or ideal for an intermediate level person because any type of meditation has a good effect on the mind. The passive type of meditation is for extremely advanced people who have been practicing meditation for a very long amount of time. In those people, meditation becomes a habit. It becomes a habit of the mind itself and they really do not need to take out time to meditate. That's because the mind is in a state of meditation throughout whatever they are doing. They are able to create focus, concentration and still feel the meditative energy of staying in a zone of meditation 24 into 7 no matter what. Now, uh, when I was telling you about the active and passive meditation, my goal was to tell you that while the OM meditation is an active type of meditation, of course, you can make it a passive meditation eventually and it does become a passive meditation as well because after you stop the chanting of the OM and you've gone back to the real world into the routine that you have been following, you would still be, uh, the mind would still be creating these OM chants in your head, which will remain the focus for a long time, even after you stop the meditation. And this is how the mind works by constantly staying in the zone, constantly uh, staying focused on one point for a lengthened amount of time without putting in any efforts. Now let's talk about the many techniques. Um, if you're trying to meditate with a group of people, then that is definitely going to be a plus point for you because um, you are not just uh, creating this vibration yourself. You're not just focusing on the sounds of this uh, vibration of Om chanting yourself, but you're also consuming the vibration of the entire set of people that you're doing this meditation with. Imagine a closed room wherein at least 10, 15, 20 people, no matter the size of people, they are sitting and doing this meditation together. Imagine the vibration of Om inside the room, which you're consuming internally and externally as well. That is not just going to make it easier for you to meditate because even if the mind is not focused in the meditation that you are doing individually, but then the sound, the vibration of others chanting Om will bring you back to the state of meditation without really putting in much efforts. On an internal level, for beginners, it is much easier to simply sit calmly in a place by wearing comfortable clothes, whether the clothes doesn't matter as such, unless or until you are comfortable, and sitting still in an empty space without much disturbance and focusing on this whole chant, trying to spend more and more time on every exhalation. Another important thing that you would realize while you'll be meditating with Om is that the more time you end up spending more time on the exhalations as compared to a normal breath or a generic other any other type of meditation. Trying to lengthen the time you spend on every chant would mean a long time that you spend on every exhalation. You may be spending about 3, 4, 6 seconds approximately at max, maybe more depending on individuals trying to inhale and you would be end, you would probably end up spending about 10, 15, 20 seconds on every exhalation trying to finish this entire syllable of our Uma in one single breath. On a pranayama basis, it is said that the exhalations should ideally be twice as much as an inhalation, which is very much valid in case of OM meditation. So you are not just getting the meditative benefits out of this, but you are also getting the life force enhancement by just doing this single meditation. There are endless techniques, but um, for people who have troubles with their throat, they can simply chant OM if they are very advanced practitioners, if they have a very good uh, focused state of uh, concentration, then they can simply chant OM, which becomes a, a, on a mental level, which becomes a passive meditation itself. But for people who suffer from a lot of mental problems like, you know, uh, depression, anxiety, hypertension, or not being able to focus, people suffering from ADHD, um, or ADD, all of these people, they can definitely benefit from OM meditation on an instant basis 
and they can feel the effect of this meditation immediately as well by just doing a few chants. I hope you found this video informative. Um, the techniques of this whole thing will be available in the manual to you. But in the end, you, the only thing that you need to remember when you're trying to do the meditation is that the chantings need to be repeated for a long amount of time. The chants, they need to be louder and loud enough so that you can even feel the vibration. If you're doing it in a very shallow basis, then of course, it's not going to create much vibration. The third thing that you need to remember when you're doing this Om meditation is that the sound should not come from the throat. If the sound is coming from the throat, then you would not be able to feel vibration in the body. But if the sound is coming from the core, then you would be able to feel the vibration throughout the body. And the only way to uh, make the sound come from the core is to integrate the stomach as a part of your breath as well. Integrate the stomach in the breathing, in the inhalations as well as uh, the exhalations and the chants as well. And you would feel the benefit of the meditation. I will see you again next time. Until then, thank you and Namaste.